He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. It's Gary, baby. It's Gary, baby. Six minutes after the top of the hour. Gary with the T. What is happening? Good morning, Rock T. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in Celebrity News, y'all. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey, honey, is speaking out, honey. And she's letting the world know that she was not fired. Now, it's being reported out that Cynthia Bailey said she was offered a contract to be a friend on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, during the interview, y'all, with E! News, honey... Cynthia revealed y'all that she was that she decided not to return after um, Bravo offered her a contract to be a friend of the show. Now she explained. She said, ironically, honey, she said I actually introduced a friend contract on the show. She said, but that's neither here nor there. She said, and I okay. thought, honey, you know what? She said that may be a perfect way for me to transition. She said, but I don't have to commit completely fully to being a housewife, and I could be a friend and kind of phase out, phase myself off the show. She said, and then I decided, you know what? She said, cut the cord, baby. She said, 10 years is a good run. But di- she did say that with me just thinking about it, she said, the whole thing happened. She said, and it was going to, uh, we were going on hiatus, so it gave me some time to think about it. And she said, honey, she's not going back, child. So that's that. So congratulations to Cynthia. You know, and Eva, I didn't know she created the, um, the, um, uh, the, uh, the friend contract, you know, to be on the show or whatever, because, you know, if you um, get, um, cut your she lines off. She created quite from- a few things. She created the friend contract with Nene. And then the idea of coming onto the show as a friend of the show instead of being a peach holder. But, you know, Cynthia has given us amazing television. She has led us into her life. We have cried with her. We have prayed with her. And I am just so happy for this new phase of her life. Like, I'm so happy for Cynthia. Me too. She is such a sweetheart. Yes. She really is. Yes. Well, speaking of new phase of life, y'all, Nick Cannon is speaking out, y'all. Now, he opened up, honey, about dating Kim Kardashian back in Uh-oh. 2006. Now, they're saying, y'all, that um, two started dating after she broke um, up with Ray J. He said, quote, I believe Ray J knew her before I did. He said, I was really into her. He said, I was vibing. He said, we were on some serious mess. He said, she broke my heart. He said, then it mm-hmm. started being these rumors going around that it was this tape. He said, but then when I asked her about it, she denied it. He said, I knew that they messed with each other. He said, but I never watched the tape. He said, now he just knew at the time that all his team was like, abort the mission, honey. Just cut her loose and all this other stuff. You know, and a lot of people are talking about it. They're saying, you know, it's amazing how these African and American men always talk and want to claim Kim Kardashian and stuff. But Nick Cannon dated a many of African American women, to my um, knowledge, from what I um, Google. He dated Chili. He dated, dated Salida Eubank, honey. He dated mm-hmm. this supermodel Jessica White. He dated Amber Rose. And look like they say he may have dated Eve. Eve, did he date you? We talked for a while back in the very early 2000s, yes. Oh, really? Oh. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh. But that was when Kim Kardashian still worked for Macy's. So you got to remember, Kim Kardashian wasn't always the Kim Kardashian you know. She used to run around with Nicole Richie and... Yeah. So come on, Brad. You know, you know yeah, the yeah. other live I know, girl, girl, girl. You know, you know the tea. Girl. Oh, we getting, we getting yeah. real tea today, Jack. Oh. Real tea. Yeah. And she styled me for Macy's fashion show back in 2004, oh. darling. And then she started doing closets, darling. Th- oh. Thank you, honey. Oh. Custom closets. Let them know, <laughs> Brad. Yes. Oh. And then she became Richard and both of y'all. But congratulations. Well, now Kim Kim like, kudos to her. her. Congratulations yeah. to her. Mm-hmm. We Absolutely. support all Absolutely. our sisters, even her, Gary. Which oh, she's she your sister now? <laughs> she been my sister. Kim Kardashian? Yeah, she all a woman. Them. They all oh, my sister. Oh. She a woman? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's true. You yeah. a woman, too. You are sister, too, Gary. Oh, oh no, thank no, you no, for making uh, me uh, honorary. No, he ain't. <laughs> no, he ain't. Honorary. <laughs> what y'all won't yes. do is... Uh, uh, um. He gone already. He special he to <laughs> He's in the sorority, darling. It's, it's in his intro, man. Half man, yeah. half woman. Oh, oh, wait a minute now. Come on now. Yeah. Wait a minute. I beg That's your difficult. sister, Gary. Put, uh, put some respect on that, honey. Put, put some, some respect, respect on, on it. Well, Me and science sister, says no. Speaking of sister, y'all, Lil Nas has spoken. Now, he, honey, he put on social media, <laughs> talking again, tweeting. He said, y'all, he talked to, that he missed women. He tweeted. He said, this gay oh. mess, honey, was funny at first. He said, but I miss women, but he didn't say women. Now, adding a sad face emoji, y'all. Then he said he later tweeted, never mind, he texted back. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Not never mind, he texted back. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's funny. That's funny. All right, y'all. Well, all right, then. Well, congratulations. I love you. Uh, all right, the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today, y'all, is Fire World. On the high end, you say Fire World, and on the low end, you say Muted Red. That's your Kahlua for today. There it is. Give it up for Gary with the T. <laughs> 